The Fossil Gen 6 and the Fossil Gen 5 have quite a lot in common. But where are the differences? What is new with the Gen 6? And is it even worth an upgrade? All of that in this video. Hey folks, my name is Leonard, you're watching the product reviewer and that's me. Now right here we have the two best known models from Fossil right now. Now as you may can tell by my older videos, I've been wearing the Fossil Gen 6 for quite a while now. And over the last couple of days, I've been wearing the Fossil Gen 5 as well. And I try to figure out reasons why I would rather go with the Fossil Gen 6 than with the Fossil Gen 5. And here are my results. Now as you can see, the Fossil Gen 6 is kind of like a mix out of the Fossil Gen 5 and the Fossil Gen 5e. Now like with the Fossil Gen 5, you have three physical buttons on the side, of which the upper one and lower one are fully customizable. So they can be connected to any of your app for a quicker access. The middle one is rotatable, so you can scroll through your messages and apps without having to swipe and get your screen all dirty. You can also just long press the button on to get to your Google Voice Assistant or use it as a back button. As for second, the Fossil Gen 6 has the same style of bezel as the Gen 5e. The middle button is kind of embedded into the case and we've got the same looking bezel. Next up, I would like to talk about the battery life for a second. Now on both watches, we have the same battery modes. So you have the daily mode on which your battery life only lasts about a day. You have the extended modes on which the battery life lasts like a couple of days, but certain features are turned off. You have the time only mode on which you can only see the time, so your battery life lasts about a week or longer, and you have a custom mode on which you can turn off or off certain features to customize your battery life, which is pretty handy. Now, the daily mode is a little bit different on both of these watches. Even though both tell you that you get about a day of battery life, in actuality, the Fossil Gen 6 lives a little bit longer than the Fossil Gen 5. Now, as for last, the charging time of the battery, the Fossil Gen 6 only takes about 30 minutes to reach 80% and before on the Fossil Gen 5 it took almost an hour. So that's a big improvement. So what else do we got? So when the Fossil Gen 5 was released in 2019, the Snapdragon 3100 processor was a big success. However, now we have the 4100 plus processor in the Gen 6 and the Gen 5 isn't that appealing anymore. It's an outdated processor, but it still has a decent performance since we still have one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabyte of internal storage, but it won't come close to the Gen 6. Compared to the first Gen 5, the Gen 6 promised 30% increase of performance, including faster app loading time, and it even has a lower power consumption, which is kind of true. Now, unfortunately, the Fossil Gen 5 and older models are not flown with the time, since these are not eligible to upgrade to the Wear OS 3, which is like the biggest knockout criteria if you want to compare these two watches. And you don't want to miss out on any of these new cool features. Now, it's not all because of the Wear OS 3, and partly because we have the upgraded 4100 processor instead of the 3100. Okay, folks, now if you've gotten that far into the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and also click the notification bell to never miss out on any new content. It's just two clicks, it's for free, and it will help me out a lot. And now back to the video. Next up, we've got the GPS and health accuracy. And first up, the GPS. And I honestly gotta tell you that these two watches aren't the best, but they're not bad either. I mean, it shows you roughly the route that you took, but it's like never 100% accurate, even though you're just walking straight lines. And it certainly works better outside of the city, so like in the forest or in the park, and it's not that great inside of the city. But, I mean, we're still talking about smartwatches and not GPS sport watches, so it's okay, so thumbs up for that. Now, heartbeat-wise, these two watches are pretty similar. Now, as I was comparing them on my strength trainings, these two watches almost showed me the exact same stats. The average heartbeat on the Fossil Gen 6 was 92 beats and a high of 112, whereas the Fossil Gen 5 gave me an average heartbeat of 90 beats and a high of 111. And as for the mileage and step counter, both of these watches showed me pretty similar stats, even though I had a little bit more on the Gen 6 always. Now, one thing to mention before we skip to the next point is that we do not get any more sport mode since the first Gen 5 covers just about every sport mode that is out there already. The Gen 6 has a few features that we do not get with the first Gen 5, like a new SPO2 tracker. And I know just about every smartwatch out there right now has an SPO2 tracker, but we now finally have one with the first Gen 6 as well. This one tracks your blood oxygen saturation on demand and you can even have a little history so you can see your last test results right on the watch. The next thing is more a tip than a feature, but you can just double tap on the Gen 6 on the home screen to choose a new watch face. On the older ones, you always have to long press the home screen and then you get to choose a new watch face. I mean, it's just a more convenient way of doing things. And folks, besides these features, these two watches are pretty similar. Now you have Amnesty Payment, you have a sleep tracker, which are working equally good. You have a mic and a speaker, so you have on-risk calls, 
and push notifications and you can even reply to WhatsApp messages and stuff like that. And folks, if you would ask me if I would rather go with the Fast Gen 6 or the Fast Gen 5, I would rather go with the Fast Gen 6 since this one is eligible to upgrade to Wear OS 3. Now, if you don't care about Wear OS 3 and the things that I've mentioned in this video, go with the Fast Gen 5 since these two watches are pretty similar in every aspect and have just about all of the same features. Now folks, that's already it for the video. Now if you want to have a full tour of either of these watches, the Fast Gen 5 or the Fast Gen 6, just click one of these videos. And with that being said, see you next time. Peace.